everybody. Welcome back to another Q&A. Today's kind of a gray and cold winter day, so we're wearing our onesies. Herschel's is a sock. There you go. So I've been getting a lot of questions about hibernation, specifically in regards to tortoises slowing down, not eating, not being active. Herschel's a Russian tortoise, so just like many other breeds of tortoises from Europe, he does brumate. Brumation is the reptile version of hibernation, and in the wild, tortoises that do brumate would bury themselves in the dirt, and they'd pretty much slow down all their different bodily functions. They wouldn't have any to eat, and because of that, they wouldn't eat to poop, pee, or make urates. Oh, hi, Macy. And in preparation for brumation, they would pretty much stop eating. Any food that's left in the gut when they start brumating could rot, and that's really dangerous. So a lot of tortoises, even if they're pets and they live indoors, slow down this time of year. They stop eating and they start trying to sleep which is definitely kind of worrying because it's the same symptoms as if they were getting sick. But it's totally normal. I personally don't choose to brumate Herschel because as far as I can find research on and talking to veterinarians, there's not really any reason to unless you're planning on mating them. It syncs up their mating cycles. In the wild, a lot of tortoises die in brumations, so I really just don't feel comfortable doing it. Herschel goes through phases in the winter and in the summer. Some days he's really active, some days he's not active, sometimes he won't eat and sometimes he will. A nice warm soak usually gets the gears going, but not always. My suggestion is to wake up your tortoise throughout the day as much as possible, even if they go right back under their log. Whether or not they're eating, you should still offer fresh food and water, because they may come out when you're not around. I also like to hand feed. I'll notice that even when Herschel is eating on his own, he'll eat when I feed him. And he definitely eats more when he's out running around. Don't panic if your tortoise doesn't eat for a day or two. It's not unusual. In the winter, he poops less than he does in the summer, too. In the summer, he'll usually poop once a day, and sometimes even more. But in the winter, it's not unusual for me to see a poop every two or three days. As long as when you wake your tortoise up, they're aware and have bright eyes, they're probably fine. And make sure you're still giving them regular soaks and nice warm water up to the carapace. That's where the top of the shell meets the bottom. Herschel gets his soaks every other day for 20 minutes. You look very cozy there, sir. Another follower asks for advice about their tortoise that doesn't want to stay in its terrarium. Unfortunately, the only solution to this problem is to let your tortoise run around. In the wild, tortoises have huge territories. Even if you have enough stimulating items in their enclosure for them to climb on and sniff, they're still going to want to come out. I really can't give much advice on this, other than suggesting that you take time in your schedule to let your tortoise run around. If you do let them come out and run around, hopefully that will tucker them out. Another follower says that they've had their tortoise for three years and it hasn't drank any water in front of them. If your tortoise isn't drinking water, don't worry. Even though they should always have access to fresh water, you'll rarely see them drink it. In the wild, tortoises get most of their water from the greens that they eat. While romaine in itself isn't nutritious enough to be the mainstay of a diet, it's perfect to feed for hydration. I always mix romaine and other lettuces in with Herschel's more nutritious greens so that he's hydrated. In order to make sure that they're extra moist under those hot UV lights, it's good to spray throughout the day. I also like to spray the enclosure just to make sure that the humidity is correct. Herschel also drinks water in his baths, so you may need to soak your tortoise more often or extend the time that they're in their water. But don't panic if you don't see your tortoise drink from its water dish. A lot of followers also ask me questions about picky eaters. Tortoises are notoriously picky. While all their greens pretty much just smell like lettuce to me, Herschel can tell the difference between radicchio and red leaf lettuce in an instant. While you don't want your tortoise to starve, it's also not good to only feed them junk food. Sometimes if you withhold the junk food, they will eat the healthy stuff, but this doesn't always work. There's a few ways to help them get used to the healthier food. At first, you can mix in cucumber puree or a pellet food like Missouri, but that shouldn't always be in there. Once they get used to the healthier greens, they should really only have pellet food once a week. Remember, pellets are a supplement, not a mainstay. And again, I always suggest hand feeding or taking them out of their enclosure. For some reason, sometimes they're just a little too lazy to feed themselves. Another follower asks, can I feed my turtle flowers from a florist or grocery store? Unfortunately, the answer to that is no. Most flowers at a grocery store or florist are coated in pesticides, and these are really dangerous to your tortoise. But the good news is, it's really easy to grow flowers yourself, even in an apartment. If you can find an organic farm near you, it's worth asking if they don't use pesticides, but the answer is probably yes. Another follower asks if there's any special toys you can buy for them. While tortoises do need lots of enrichment, they don't really play with each other. Play is primarily a social behavior. It's used to teach different skills, and tortoises aren't social. We do have one of these fillable treat balls for him. Sometimes we'll put romaine in it or other treats, and he will actually push it around to get the stuff out. Mostly when he bites the ball, though, I think it's just because he's defending his territory. 
Another good enrichment item that every tortoise owner should have is a log. Herschel loves going under his log, and he really enjoys climbing it. As long as there's a soft substrate underneath, don't worry about them face planting. They love it. Herschel's decided it's bedtime. I'm gonna wrap up this video because Herschel's decided it's time to sleep, but I wanna talk about one more thing. I wanna talk about little known emergency supplies. Since it's winter and there's lots of snowstorms, there's also lots of power outages. I've seen so many posts and messages this past week about people who lost power. When you have cold-blooded animals, it's really scary. Most adult tortoises are fine in temperatures 60 degrees Fahrenheit and up, so if you don't have power, don't panic. If you do have a hatchling or yearling, it's a little bit different. There's a few things you can do to keep them warm. Firstly, if you have a fireplace or a gas oven, you can turn them on and keep them in the same room. This will heat up the general area and keep them nice and toasty. Also, don't forget about your car. You can take them out there in a box and blast the heat intermittently. Another thing that a lot of people forget is that we're mammals and we make body heat. So if your tortoise is small enough, you can keep them under your shirt. But I actually want to recommend these boilable heat packs. You boil them to reset them, but once they're reset, you can store them indefinitely. All you have to do is press this metal thing here. It spreads through the heat pack and triggers a chemical reaction that hardens it and makes it really warm. There's a few different types, but they're really cheap, and this is a really great thing to keep in your emergency kit. Pair these with a bunch of towels to keep the heat in, and your tortoise should be nice and toasty for a while. Well, that's it for now, guys. We're both ready to go to bed. Good thing we've got our jammies on, right? We'll see you next time.